A lot of times people say, I want to change people's minds. I want to reach people. I want to share my story. I want to change the world. Of course you do. But <laughs> what do you want to do today? Uh, let's start a little smaller and specific. One of the main things I ask my students after I review their first drafts of short stories or essays is, what is the why of your work here? What is it that you're really trying to do and communicate to your reader? And it's an important question for every writer to consider because writing without purpose just becomes aimless. Words on the page, and, and those words can be beautiful, but if there's no sense of purpose, you leave the reader wondering, what did I just read? What am I supposed to take away from this? And I think it's important to inspire questions in your reader, but not those kinds of fundamental questions. A lot of times in nonfiction, what you're trying to do is increase awareness about a topic. And so when you're thinking about what you want the reader to take away, do you want to give them a call to action where they try and do something in the world? Do you want them to change the way they think about a given topic? Uh, do you want them to write their own story or share their own story about what you've written. You never want to be heavy-handed, unless, of course, you're writing something that does call for a heavy hand. Instead, you want to think of cues that you can offer the reader. And some of that may be examples of ways in which you have taken action on what it is that you're talking about, or ways that they can take action, because a lot of times people need to be told what to do. And so you just want to start to think about those kinds of cues that you can offer the reader. I actually have a, an academic background in rhetoric, and one of the first things I think about are the rhetorical appeals of ethos, pathos, and logos. And yes, those Greek words can be kind of unwieldy, but really ethos is all about the ethical appeal and making sure that you are being honest and true in your work. When we talk about logos, we're really talking about logic and how are you making sure that everything makes sense and that you are being rational and even-minded in your work. And of course, pathos is about the emotional appeal and finding ways in which you make your reader care. And so I oftentimes use that framework when I'm thinking about my sense of purpose in an essay and making sure that I have at least cursory answers to um, what my ethos, pathos, and logos are going to be for any given essay. I think the most common struggle people have when it comes to identifying the why or the sense of purpose in a piece of writing is that they go too broad and they think that they have to write universally. Uh, you never have to write universally and universality should never be the goal. When I say universally, I mean either trying to write to an audience that includes everyone, which is this really broad, vague thing that people say, I want everyone to read my work. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, but that's never the goal. But also when I say don't write universally, I mean your work does not have to be relatable to everyone. Sometimes you can write about a very specific experience and people will find things to relate to, even if they have not lived the kind of life that you have lived. Your individual and specific experience is enough to interest the reader if you write about it in the best ways. I read an article in the New York Times about a young girl who was gang raped in Cleveland, Texas. And the Times wrote this article about how the town was suffering because of what this girl had been through. And because so many of the young men arrested for the crime were on the basketball team, they were worried about what was going to happen to the school season. And I was just outraged because what are you talking about? A young girl was violated in a really horrific way. And so I wrote an essay in a couple hours called The Careless Language of Sexual Violence for the Rumpus. For me, the why of that essay was thinking more carefully about how we talk about sexual violence, um, both at a, on a personal level and also how we see it in pop culture. And that was the guiding principle that I used throughout the writing of that essay. It's important not to take this question of the why of your essay too literally. For example, you never want to say in an essay, in this essay, I'm going to be talking about one, two, three, four, and five. Instead, you just want to make sure that everything you do in the writing of your essay is deliberate and is working toward your sense of purpose. It's something that should just be inherent to your essay. In the next section, we're going to talk about how you can look both inward and outward, which is to say how you write about something very personal in ways that are going to be interesting to other readers. <laughs>